Every year, recruits going through the Chattanooga Fire Academy have to complete a series of training exercises before they can become firefighters. And part of that training includes live fire exercises. Channel 3's Tim Pham attended one this morning and tells us how the demonstration prepares cadets to be out in the field. This week, recruits had a search and rescue training here, and today they'll work through a real fire at this home. Thick flames envelop a home on Robin Drive. In this case, firefighters are standing by waiting for the home to burn. It's all a part of their training with the Fire Academy with the Chattanooga Fire Department. Everything from the basics of firefighting to the hose lines to what to prepare for if we have a down victim or a down firefighter in order to get them out. Casey Webb is one of 35 cadets and one of three women in this year's class, the largest fire academy in the department's history. It will help out the department tremendously. Uh, we had a lot of openings uh, that we needed to fill. Um, this will actually bring us back up to almost our current number where we need. This is time-lapse video of the burn. Firefighters say it's invaluable hands-on training that you can't learn inside the station. Getting to experience it over and over and learning it out here versus having to learn it out there where we may not be sure about it and here we can we can mess up and it be safe. The landowners donated the home. The fire academy used the property to learn rescue techniques in a real like situation. Where they actually had to bring down firefighters up from a basement, up a flight of stairs and out a window, uh, which is extremely difficult. Uh, we've done a lot of search and rescue drills uh, where they actually go in there and find mannequins and uh, actually conduct live uh, under live fire conditions, conduct li uh, live search and rescue drills. Thousands applied to be in this year's academy. Cadets say they're thankful for this experience and for Cassie, being in this year's class means so much more. Being a woman in a male dominated profession, uh, there's always going to be barriers, but just just go for it if, if that's all you really can do. The training chief says there are so many recruits this year that they'll conduct two more live fire burns next week. Reporting in Chattanooga, Tim Pham, Channel 3 Eyewitness News.